Hello. 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 Looks good. I think today we also will have a short meeting. This 30th of May, we have a few news, but uh, feel free to add anything to the agenda if uh, you have something you want to talk about or interrupt me. As the first news, I think Giovanni uh, provided all of the changes on our website for uh, redirecting towards Lifecycle Toolkit, the main webpage of Captain. We discussed this last time. If you want, this is pointed in the meeting notes, what has been redirected to where. But uh, to cut it short, basically now the main page of Captain will redirect to Lifecycle Toolkit. Everything else should be more or less the same. And then we wanted to take the occasion to celebrate Rashid's achievement. I think everybody knows, but let's say it out loud that uh, he got accepted for a talk in the Kubernetes uh, community days at Mumbai. This is going to be on the 17th of June. I don't know if anybody will be able to attend. Maybe, uh, Rashid, do you want to say anything about your talk? I had a look. I see you're working with uh, KLT and uh, the horizontal pod autoscaler. Yeah, I'll be presenting the Captain Matrix provider in how we can autoscale our workloads. Um, still preparing the demo, and if I face any difficulties, I'll reach out. Now we will be yeah, happy to also help I'm you. really excited. Yeah, even if you want Thank to you. have a dry run, this can be fun to have together if you like. Sure, and uh, maybe let us know if you have recording or anything like that. We can share later on with anybody else. Yeah, channel, maybe. I'll ask the organizers if they'll provide the recording. That's cool. So this is awesome. And on more boring stuff, I guess we just go through the roadmap. If you participated yesterday to the refinement meeting, you see that we finalized everything for this in progress work on the execution task execution provider. We have now uh, defined and refined all of the ticket needed for the Python runtime and uh, for the container runtime. Uh, please have a look at the 614 issue to see what is it happening. And uh, we had already a few contributors um, offering themselves for some of the PR. So very excited that we are having good open source work here. Um, what else on the roadmap? Lots of documentation. Um, Mac joined us. Um, I think right now you're working on the Redmi's and uh, updating them and figuring out also the installation and the architecture and documentation, if I'm mm -hmm. correct. Do you have any update or something you want to share? Um, and the other thing that is about to get serious is we need a migration guide from Captain V1 to KLT. Of course, none of us know what to put in that. But um, my my rough thought, I'm going to create an epic for it, and I, I'll do that by tomorrow and send everybody. Um, and then we'll have the, we'll, we'll start scratching down what we know, what we don't know, what we wonder about. And I'm going to make a migration guide that initially will be sort of notes. If you're doing this, you know, you might try doing this or it'll we'll, we put I think be, I'm thinking between all of us we probably actually know a fair amount if we put down everything we know at least guidelines you know try this try that and we'll see what goes with it and uh, we'll move forward from that so uh that's that's the that's just off that's the call I was just on so I reckon the documentation of the container runtime may be useful in this right you can use the job executor and other stuff out of the box, no? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Oh, yeah. So we see. But uh, indeed, we had some discussion on the health channel that there are people considering whether it's worth moving towards KLT. So this can be interesting to have. You know? Yeah. So I will start scratching on some stuff and hoping that maybe in a couple of weeks we might have something that we can put up that says this is, you know, the documentation and the effort is in its baby stages, please join in, let us know what you're doing and stuff, what you care about. So I, th I think we can do it. It's open source. We can use that friendliness. So 
Okay, and this is everything I had in the agenda. Is there any other topic we should talk about? Or maybe Rashid, do you have anything you want to discuss about how you are going with the project? Or Geoffrey, if you have any issue with your PR, this may be a good time slot. So for, for me, I've not actually started the project. Because according to what we discussed on the refinement meeting yesterday, um, Rashid spoke of working on an operator. He's working on a project by the side. So I'm waiting for, um, for him to give me a signal to on when we can start the project. So at the moment, I'm taking my time to get acquainted with Cape Team and the whole documentation. So yesterday, I was able to try out the examples of the Cape Team and how to deploy Cape Team mm -hmm. operators on Kubernetes. So I was, I'm currently using Kind to do those stuff. Um, so that's what I am. I'm just working around Cape Team. Awesome. I think that issue has some dependencies, so we can mm -hmm. start once those are clear. Hmm. Yeah, I think this de dependencies will be soon uh, solved. Okay, if there is nothing else, I guess we can close it here. Thanks for joining us and. Uh, See you next week. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.